Hello, welcome or welcome back. My name is Aerie and as you guessed it, it's time to unbox the damn unplugged book box. Since it's the new year, I'm going to give you the whole spiel on the unplugged box. This is the adult fiction monthly box. In it, I get four to six bookish self-care items or bookish and or self-care items and a hardcover or paperback new release. Um, I honestly don't remember the last time I've actually gotten a hardcover. It, they're all paperbacks like always paperbacks. This starts at $39.99 a month. If you were interested, if you do like multiple months at a time, it's it's cheaper. Uh, so I've been unboxing this for almost a year on my channel and it's kind of time to start switching up book boxes because I'm not too particularly impressed with this one or my piece in pages, which is that purple box up there. Um, you will see that unboxing later. Um, so I think next month will be the last month for both of these because I do subscribe to multiple months at a time. So I had to cancel my subscription and I still get them for a couple months afterwards. Um, you may be able to see this white box here and that is one of the new subscriptions that is replacing it and you will see that unboxing sometime this month as well. So before we get into January's Unplugged, let's go over December's box. There was a kitchen spatula thing that was used for cleaning out, like scraping the insides of pans and stuff to clean it out. I, I don't cook, so I don't really have a use for that one. Um, there was a candle from Annihilation that was made by geeky girl since I haven't burned it. I don't know if it's good or not. Sorry. I'll probably try. Mm. I'll try to be better about actually burning the candles and telling you if they're any good or not because I've gotten some um some from like something candle company that shows up a lot in book boxes that are just the most awful atrocious candles ever and I wouldn't recommend anybody buying them. Um Next there was a Supernatural zipper pouch. Uh, it, it didn't look like the characters from Supernatural, honestly. I had no real interest in that as well, but life goes on. Um, and there was a Witcher pin. The Witcher pin was cool. I'm not a big pin collector, but I will admit that that Witcher pin was very, very awesome. And then there was a Dark Matter roller perfume. I gave that to my sister. She liked the scent of it. So it got used, just not for me. And there was hot chocolate which I, it, it was okay. <laughs> it wasn't the best hot chocolate, but personal taste type thing. And then the book was The Lady Upstairs, which was, I thought it was bad, but it was just a book that is not to my taste in books. Um, it was very revengey. Um, for all the wrong reasons and I just didn't particularly care of it but it that was an entirely taste-based thing and I'm sure there are plenty of people who actually would have liked that book. So now that I've talked too much let's open this month's box. We gotta get the sharp things. And then we gotta put the sharp things away before I stab myself on accident. All right, as always, you guys get first peek. And this month's theme is... Intuition. So Adult Fish and Pause, January 2021. <laughs> I almost forgot that one, uh, Intuition. So let's see what we're gonna intuit out of this box. First things first, I have this, which looks like gloves. They're gloves. They are, uh, I'm gonna tell you right now that these are too big for me. Um, I don't know if you can see <laughs> how much bigger these gloves are than my actual hand. Let, let's see, something like background. Uh, I wear children's gloves and I also live in Southern California and it's like 65 here right now. 
so I don't have a use for gloves, but I can see a lot of other people having a use for gloves, so I'm not going to be mad at this. Um, it says, strange isn't it to love a book on here, um, and there's circus tents, which I don't remember this quote from any particular book, but the only circus book that I have ever read that I remember is The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. So I'm going to guess that that's where that's from. Let's see. Night Circus Gloves. <laughs> it helps to read the most popular books. Um, yeah. The Night Circus has come to town. Celia and Marco are fated to a life of competition in a magical world created by Aaron Morgenstern. They must use their intuition to perf uh, in performances, but fate seems to be testing them. And then the... There you go. Um, sure. Uh, next we have this. Looks like a wallet. But let's find out for sure. So there you go. And I think, yes, it is. There's a piece of foam in here. It is a wallet. Um, this is from A Darker Shade of Magic by Evie e. Schwab, which I have not read, but uh, it's got like gray London and white London and red London on there, and I just, I, I know that's from A Darker Shade of Magic. So, Darker Shade of Magic Wallet. In V.E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic series, magic is alive, and the characters must rely on their intuition to fight against it. There you go. I'm... I always, every month, enjoy, from the Unplugged book box, figuring out if I can guess which books they're from. And some months, I'm just like on it, and I know all of them, and some months, I <laughs> have no earthly idea at all. So, so far, so good this month. Next, we have something that is very, very hard to read. I think this is lotion, but I don't know if you can tell, but that label is atrociously hard to read, but it is hand lotion from Blackheath Manor, which smells delicious. Holy crap. That's so good. Um, noon tea, time travel, and vanilla are the scents. I don't smell vanilla at all, but this smells wonderful. I adore this. Uh, I don't know what book that's from. Let's see. Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, which I've read. <laughs> I just didn't remember that was what the manor is called. Um, head to Black, uh, Black Heath Manor for a getaway of a lifetime, but if your intuition is n uh, no good, you may just get stuck there for longer than you bargained for. And the lotion is inspired by Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle. Next. We have this. Is it chapstick? The last time I said, is it chapstick? I'm so glad I looked because it ended up being cuticle oil. <laughs> but this is Olive's Honeymoon Peach Mango Lip Balm. So yes, it is chapstick. It's also, it's also already opened. I don't, I don't want to use it because it was already open. There was no safety seal on it at all. So I'm going to, uh, live on the side of caution and not actually use this because I don't know if somebody else has used it or not. <laughs> That's what safety seals are for. Um, Olive's Honeymoon. <sighs> the Unhoneymooners? That's, that's my guess. Ooh. The Unhoneymooners lip balm. Olive from the Unhoneymooners. Uh, by Christina Lauren does not have the best intuition. That's true. That is, that is true. I've read that book too. We've got this. And inside is this. And this is 
uh, the Fairy Hideout and Unplugged Book Box Yet Yet Two Sea Salt uh, or no Bath Salt Sea Salt Pairs in Memories, and then you just pour it into a bath to soak on it. And it's let's see if we can do this. So you've got the pretty label and then the blue bath salts there. Oh, my camera's gonna adjust so you could probably see that better. Um, I, I don't know what Yetu is from. I wanna see if I can open this though. It, it smells like generic bath products you'd get from like Walmart. <laughs> um, bath salts. The Deep, which is a River Solomon book that I have not read, but I think, let's see, uh, yeah, Two from the Deep by River Solomon holds memories for her people. This is a stunning novel touches upon the intuition of her people, um, a group of underwater women that are descendants of slave women tossed overboard. Okay, so yeah, it was, um, it, during the Atlantic slave trade, slave women were for multiple reasons just tossed overboard and apparently they turned into mermaids and this is the tale of their descendants but I have not read it so there's no reason that I would have known that one. Um, next is this. Can you see it? Uh, and it's Dorian Gray Ravising Rose Hip Face Mask. And I do know what this is from because it says Dorian Gray. So it's obviously from a picture of Dorian Gray. That was that was easy. Um, but yeah, I think I had a feel that it's a face mask in here. Um, and Rose Hip is good for you. It Rose Hip does not smell like roses. So if you don't like Rose Hip thing, that's fine. It doesn't actually smell like roses. But it helps reduce redness. So if you have rosacea, rosehip is usually fairly good for you. When I was pulling the book out, I got this card. <laughs> and that means I know what this book is. <laughs> but, but the only thing left is the book. And when we open it, this is... <laughs> The Ruthless Ladies, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna tell you before I open it, this is The Ruthless Ladies Guide to Wizardry by C.M. Wagner. <laughs> I've read this, which saves me from having to read this and then insert a clip later about this, but uh, I didn't like it. <laughs> um, this story is basically about uh, kind of like a Victorian... England type place but it's not actually Victorian England it's a fantasy realm um, and the main character is a fire witch but she was born very very poor and so they kind of call her like a gutter witch or whatever um, and she needs money and finds an advertisement for a woman who needs bodyguards while she goes into seclusion before her marriage so all of the bodyguards have to be women because she can't be around men during this seclusion time and so she but the bodyguards need to be able to defend her so it's like strong arms and mages and stuff like that um so that's that's the first like that's this much of the book and the back half of the book is like one of the bodyguard ladies is killed in action defending her and the back half of the book is just them like seeking revenge for this woman's death um, and also potentially getting money to bring this person to justice and it was just it was too much like it was so boring, it got very long-winded, like, well into the book, um, and yeah, I, I, unless you're, like, really enamored with the idea of poor women in Victoria, England, Victorian England, and want a, um, 
fantasy book that like mimics that. Um, there's sapphic relationships and all the rep in here is pretty good. Um, it's just the story itself was anticlimactic and very long, long and boring. But I did have a NetGalley arc of this read it already. So thank God I was so worried about having to read because um, I'm reading for my 2021 challenge and goals. I'm reading um, all of the books that I get out of the book box as soon as I get them. And that's going to be five, six additional books this month <laughs> because of the overlap in the new book boxes versus the old book box. And I was so like, how the fuck am I going to have the time to do this? But look, I don't have to read this one because I've already read it. Yay! Um, so yeah, that brings me to the end of this little tale and there is nothing in here that makes me regret canceling the box right now. Like the wallet's pretty cool but I don't I don't need a wallet. I'll still probably use that one but I didn't really need a wallet. Um, the lotion smells amazing but is it worth like the $40 that this thing costs? No. Um, this I can't even use because it wasn't safety sealed. The mask, okay. Still not worth the price. The gloves have absolutely no use for me in Southern California and I never take baths so those bath salts won't won't get used. Um, and then I already read the book and the book's not good. <laughs> so this isn't really worth the cost of the box and like I said I'm not mad that I won't or that I've canceled this so we'll see what do I get next month and see if that like makes up for if I, if I regret it at the the 11th hour in February's box is so good that I renew that subscription but for right now I'm okay with letting this subscription go if uh, you have any thoughts opinions on any of this stuff or um, just generally like you desperately do not want me to cancel this subscription, just let me know down in the comments and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!